Hey guys, Morgan from Seven Dust here, and you're watching CMS TV. Well, I know this segment is going a little bit longer than I would like to, but I have one more story that's sort of the same. It's a tie-in. It's, it's not a tie-in per se, but it's the same, same topic. Okay. Same topic, different band. Um, I don't know if you saw this or not, but um, uh, M3 was announced last week. I did not see that. Uh, and one of the bands that was announced on M3 was Britney Fox. Okay, what version of that? Well, therein lies the problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Is this Tommy, uh, um, Billy Child's uh, version? Well, yeah. <laughs> and the rest of the, the original band has gone on record to make sure that you know. It's not that. That it ain't them. <laughs> right. Uh, this is uh, from Stevie's Metal Sludge. Okay, is this like is this like Steve Riley's LA Guns? I don't know. I mean, it, it's Billy Child's Britney Fox, I guess. Right. But I actually saw that Britney, and it's funny be, before this article came out, I saw the M three announcement, and I I immediately picked up my phone and texted Tommy Crash, and I said, "Hey, are you involved in this?" And he is like, "Nope." not me. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, who's involved in it? And he's like, I don't know. And I, I think he was dodging it a little bit. I think he didn't want to want to have it be the guy to tell me that it wasn't, that it was like schlub version, but I hear, I'll read it to you. And you tell me how, how much interest this drums up for you to make the trip to M3. It seems there is a little bit of drama in the Britney Fox camp after the recent announcement that the group will be appearing at the annual M3 Rock Festival on May 6th, 2023. The band's classic lineup of Dizzy Dean Davidson, Michael Kelly Smith, Billy Childs, and Johnny D have not performed together since the spring of 1990 when they played their final show at The Living Room in Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Ironically, this version of Britney Fox probably will play a living room or two as well. So <laughs> um, let's see here. As most diehard 80s fans know that the calls for the classic era reunion of the members that made Britney Fox famous in the 80s have seemingly fallen on deaf ears. The group brought in Tommy Paris with the departure of Davidson and released their third album, Bite Down Hard, via Atlanta Records in 1991 but disbanded soon after in 1992. And Stevie, for God's sake, she forgot Springhead Motor Shark. There was that album that had Is It Real on it, which is a great song. But anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. Britney Fox reemerged a few times, each for a brief period, including short runs in 2000 to 2003, 2006 to 2008, and again in 2015 to 2016, all according to their wiki. All of those lineups included Childs as the key classic era member, and at various points, Paris and D were also on, on board with lead guitar slot being filled by Chris Sanders, except during the first reunion in 2000, which also included Kelly Smith. Yeah, that's when I met them. Yeah, and obviously we know that Tommy Crash was in there at some point as well, So, and probably a myriad of other guys, but... Oh, uh, let's see. The newest lineup that is set to take place at, at M3 next spring once again features Childs. Now, here comes the rest of the lineup. Strap in, folks. It's an all-star lineup. With Hank Henry Nowak, Greg Polkari, and Ronnie Rogers filling in on vocals, guitars, and drums. Excited? Okay. Do any of those names mean anything at all to you? No. <laughs> Me either. I, I've never heard of any of these guys. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying I don't know these guys at all. Now, since the M3 announcement, the band's official Facebook page has posted a message that is telling fans, in short, you are getting Billy's cover band. Okay. 
Read the message pasted below, which I will read now. Attention, Britney Fox fans. With the release of the 2023 Metal M3 Festival lineup, there seems to be some confusion. Once again, we regret to inform you the Britney Fox lineup is not the original lineup as 2017, Tommy, Johnny, Billy, Chris, and it is not a reunion with Dizzy Dean Davidson, Michael Kelly Smith, Johnny D, Billy Childs. Where did it go? So with that being said, to clear up any confusion, please be aware that you are getting, be, please be aware what you are getting. You are not getting the real Britney Fox. You are getting Billy's version print or um, parentheses cover band. The lineup for the M3 for 2023 consists of Billy Childs, Noak, Polkari, and Rogers. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Unfortunately, Billy decided to do his own thing without the others. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, wow. That's a punch in the face. <laughs> yep. Got a, got a few shekels for putting up a lineup and, you know, performing at M3. Yeah. Boy, how horrible is that? Well, he did it before. Yeah, did, did but no get, one cared. Nobody cared. And we had Billy on the show one yeah. time. And he was saying something about uh, what was what was his comment about? Uh, everybody has a Facebook. My grandmother has a Facebook, and she's been Ted for three years. Right? <laughs> did she he say something like that? Yeah. See here, here to me, and and it's only me, and you know, I know I I like Britney Fox. I don't love them, but I like them, and I'm pretty sure you love them. I think they're they're like one of your favorites, right? Well, they're they're you know I I enjoy them. I I, I would not put them up there in the top ten, but no, but you, you really enjoy them a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, I I went out and saw them a couple of times actually. Yeah. That's when I got to you know meet up with Billy Childs and mm -hmm. Michael smith and sure and that's how i got to know tommy paris right don't you think that ultimately though the reason they can't do what we just, just talked about with motley crew is they just weren't big enough true they just never it'd be like if junkyard tried to tour with just the drummer of junkyard right of course nobody would care and it's like he's the bass player in britney fox right that's not holding any weight but the name. Yeah. I mean, but I don't know. Did he even, he didn't even write with Britney Fox. Did he? I don't know. I think they were all dizzy songs. I thought that the first two records were like almost all dizzy. Yeah. I think, I think Michael Kelly Smith probably wrote, you know, some of it as well. I just don't think it was Billy Childs. I could be wrong on that, but you know, yeah. So there you go. Another band that's out there trying to trying to make it with less than less than 20 percent of the original band. yeah so one of the dudes <laughs> just some guy that just yeah, happened to be there he's just one of the dudes yeah my goodness fog hat really started something awful didn't it, would you say it was fog hat that started this yeah they were they were one of them that's for sure they were like one of the originals of just ah, we'll just have anybody play yeah we got roger earl and the rest of the dudes yeah and at least with fog hat and, and again this is the weird thing I don't think anybody cared because fog hat wasn't on MTV. We've talked yeah, about that a yeah, million they, times. Yeah. They were a faceless band. They, they yeah. had Dave Peverett as the guitarist and Roger Earl and, and, uh, what's his name? Scott, Scott, uh, I don't know anybody's name in that band and en en engineer Scott, our friend, Scott, Scott DG. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Engineer our friend from, from, uh, the rocket. Oh, Scott Clark. Yeah, Scott Clark, his buddies who fell down the stairs and died. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever that guy's name was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I dude, I don't know anybody's fucking name in 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 Fog Hat. I never did. What's the guy we know? Charlie Hewn. Yeah, Charlie Hewn. He was in uh Ted Nugent and he was in yeah. Victory. Is he still in Fog Hat? I don't even know. Yeah, I think so. I think he's still the lead vocalist. Let's see if where's Fog Hat? Numbers, yeah, Charlie Hume, he's still in there. Yeah, he's probably been in there longer than any of the originals. I guarantee except Roger has. Earl, except Roger. Oh, no, he's not a member anymore. Who, Roger Earl? No, Charlie Hume. Oh, he's not, according to Wikipedia, he's a past member. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know he left the, I didn't know he left the band. I'm looking here. Do, 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 do. Oh, he retired. In January 22, lead singer Charlie Hewn retired. All right. Just this year. Yeah. Holy shit. This, this is an old guy. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know this guy from anything and I'm not even looking at a picture of him, but this guy's got to be old. Scott Holt, formerly a guitarist for Buddy Guy, became a, the new lead singer of the and guitarist. How old do you got to be that you were a fucking sideman for Buddy Guy? Yeah. Buddy Guy got to be 90. <laughs> How old is Buddy Guy? 86. Yeah. Guy I made cry once. Do you remember that? <laughs> Yeah, you take your memories. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bastard. I wasn't on purpose. I asked I him know. about the old days and he started crying. Yeah. You know, I asked him about something about uh, the old days and how he felt about, you know, being considered as like the innovator of electric guitar in the blues. And he started weeping. Yeah. There's been so many people that have died. <laughs> I was like, Oh, what the hell? What happened? <laughs> so funny. Of course, he's probably like 75 years old back then. 13 sure. years ago. Jesus. Hmm. So there you go. Scott Holt, new singer of fog hat. All right. Very good. Sure. You can't wait to go see that show. Yeah, not. <laughs> All, All right. right. I say we take a break since right. we're talking about Brittany Fox. And I know you like bite down hard. Yes. Uh, well, I'll let you pick a tune. Well, I would go over now, but that's a ballad. Um, let's go with um, do 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 do. Um, what is that song? Uh, I th what is track three? Liar. That's you what's got, track two. You got six guns loaded. Louder. Liar. Go with liar. Liar. Yep. Okay. That's one of the. Gag it like a hurricane, baby. Got no place to run. Yeah, that's the one I want. All right. All right. Well, we'll play a few tunes and we'll come back. So uh, here it is. It's uh, Brittany Fox featuring Tommy Paris on lead vocal with the Liar exclusively here. On your classic metal show. Hey, what's Thanks for checking out this episode of the classic metal show. Get all of our episodes uncensored at www.theclassicmetalshow.com. Join us weekly from 9 p.m. till 3 a.m. Eastern at www.cmsradio.net. Participate in the live chat room at www.chatandkill.com. Once again, thank you for checking out The Classic Metal Show with Neely and Chris. Hail and kill. Fuck you, pal. <laughs> 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 